English speaking course. I can understand English, but I can't speak. If so, today's video is just for you. In this video, we'll provide you with five English learning habits for beginners. This method has helped many learners improve their English. Do you want to be like that? So make sure to watch until the end to take your English to a next level. Let's start with practicing listening skills. Listen to the conversation carefully and fill in the empty blanks with one or two words. Vincent! It's already afternoon! Why are you still sleeping? Huh. Wait, what? Afternoon? I have an appointment today. I'm just kidding! It's only 8 o'clock. How dare you, Jenny? I had to say so or else you will not get out of your bed. That's a terrible way to wake someone up, you know? Whatever. Get dressed and go downstairs for breakfast. Your dental appointment is at 9, right? Yeah. What's your plan today, Jenny? Today is just a regular day. I'm going to school until 3 p.m. Then I'll go home, take a nap, and help you with dinner. Actually, I plan to eat out tonight. You want to go? Sounds cool. Hold on, I have badminton practice three times a week. And today is a practice day. What time will you finish? Around 5 p.m. Can we go after that? Sure thing. What are you gonna do after your appointment? I don't have class today, so I'll just go straight home and sleep. College students like you are so lucky. You guys have more free time than us. I have more work to do than you think, Jenny. But I met all the school deadlines yesterday. I actually have a group meeting tonight, but it's around 10 p.m. We can dine out first, then I'll come back and join the meeting. A meeting at 10 p.m.? Isn't that late? I know, right? But that's the only time when everyone in my group is available. We have a group presentation in two days, so there's no choice. I see. What about this weekend? What are you going to do? Hmm. Just like every weekend, I'll finish homework. Then I'm going to hang out with my friends. We're going to the cinema this Saturday. You? I just want to sleep during the weekend, I guess. However, I'm thinking about waking up early and going cycling. Wow, our Jenny is thinking about exercising now. Good job. Well, I'm pursuing a healthy lifestyle, you know. I go for a walk every day and I play sports with friends twice a week. Really? I didn't know you were that active. I am, of course. Well, I'm not playing sports, so I'm not going to say anything. 
What kind of leisure activities do you often do? I listen to music every time I take a shower and before going to sleep. I've recently taken up reading books. I try to read a new book once a month. Reading is a nice habit. The first word we have here is appointment, meaning a time you arrange to meet someone or to do something. Your dental appointment is at nine, right? Next, we have practice, meaning the regular doing of an activity to improve your skill. Hold on, I have badminton practice three times a week. Let's move to the word deadline, meaning the latest time by which something should be completed. But I met all the school deadlines yesterday. How about the word leisure, meaning Free time when you are not working and can relax or enjoy hobbies. What kind of leisure activities do you often do? Finally, we have lifestyle, meaning the way in which a person or group lives, including habits and attitudes. Well, I'm pursuing a healthy lifestyle, you know. All right, everybody. Is everything all clear? This is how you learn the vocabulary by heart. Hi everyone, it's Gwen and Leo, the founders of English Speaking Course. We know that many of you want to speak English fluently and improve your English skills. That's why we created our membership program to help you do just that. Inside our membership, you'll find fun emojis and badges to keep you motivated and celebrate your progress. Interactive quizzes to help you practice at three different levels, tailored to your skill level. In-depth VTFs to provide you with comprehensive English knowledge. We also have a great supportive community where you can connect with other learners. Get expert guidance and feedback and unlock exclusive content and events. Are you ready to take your English to the next level? Click the button and join today. Now, we head to the duet part, where you can practice your speaking skills. Speak out loud when the lines appear on your screen. Pretend like you are having a real conversation. Are you ready? Let's go. Vincent! It's already afternoon. Why are you still sleeping? Ah... Uh. I'm just kidding. It's only 8 o'clock. I had to say so or else you will not get out of your bed. Whatever. Get dressed and go downstairs for breakfast. Your dental appointment is at 9, right? Today is just a regular day. I'm going to school until 3 p.m. Then I'll go home, take a nap, and help you with dinner. Sounds cool. Hold on, I have badminton practice three times a week, and today is a practice day. Around 5 p.m., can we go after that? What are you going to do after your appointment? College students like you are so lucky. You guys have more free time than us.
A meeting at 10 p.m.? Isn't that late? I see. What about this weekend? What are you going to do? I just want to sleep during the weekend, I guess. However, I'm thinking about waking up early and going cycling. Well, I'm pursuing a healthy lifestyle, you know? I go for a walk every day and I play sports with friends twice a week. I am, of course. What kind of leisure activities do you often do? Reading is a nice habit. Number one is Vincent's dental appointment at 8 o'clock. No, his appointment is at 9 a.m. Number two. Jenny finishes class at 3 p.m. The answer is true. Number three. Why does Vincent have a meeting at 10 p.m.? The answer is A. None of Vincent's group members are available at another time. Number four. What does Vincent do on the weekends? The answer is B. Vincent often hangs out with friends on weekends. This Saturday, they plan to go to the cinema. Number five. What physical activities does Jenny often do? The answer is C. Jenny takes walks and plays badminton with friends. Were you guys able to answer them all correctly? We hope that you can learn something from this practice. Finally, Let's try to think in English and express your words in English. You can practice thinking in English with the five W's. They are who, what, when, where, and why. How do they work? Let's have a look at the first situation. All right, everyone. Thank you for coming today to say goodbye to Jessica. She's going on an exchange program in France next month. We're going to miss you so much, Jessica. Me too. Please keep in touch with me. Shall we practice thinking and speaking in English? Where are the people in the video? They are at a restaurant. Can you guess who they are? They are Jessica and her friends. When is the time? It's dark outside, so probably in the evening. What are they doing? They're going to eat together and say goodbye to Jessica. Why do they have to hold a farewell party for Jessica? 
because she's going on an exchange program to France. Can you make a sentence based on that story? For example, Jessica is going on an exchange program in France next month, so everyone came to her farewell party to say goodbye to her. What do you think about this method? It's quite simple to understand, right? All right. Shall we try another example? Is that John? Long time no see. Hey, Amaya, right? It's been a long time, right? What are you doing here? I'm going to work, you. I'm having a dental appointment at a dentist near here. Ah, I see. See you later. Let's have a look at this situation. Who are they in the video? They are John and Amaya. Where are they right now? They're across each other on the street. When is the time? It's in the morning. What are they going to do? Amaya is going to work while John's going to the dentist. Why did they say, long time no see? Because they haven't seen each other for so long. Our sentence will be, Amaya's going to work when she bumps into John, an old friend who is going to the dentist. How does it sound now? Have you learned it? You can choose the methods that make you comfortable when learning English. Remember, no matter what happens, never give up. Please be determined to achieve your learning goal. The outcome will never let you down. Don't forget to develop these five-minute habits every day to improve your English. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.